This is Dunfermline bus station, situated at the heart of the city. Hundreds of local people pass through here every day. For many, the bus into town is their only lifeline. But here on Moody Street, there's nobody waiting at this bus stop for the 19. The company, Stagecoach, has withdrawn the bus, a vital service for the elderly and other residents in this area. And it was withdrawn without consultation, say campaigners who are furious. It's leaving some people even housebound. Pressure group Buses for People have campaigned against the cuts by Stagecoach. Fife's Labour leader, Alec Rowley, has also criticised the SNP Lib Dem councillors of Fife Council, who also allowed the withdrawal of the service. Buses for People has held a series of meetings and demonstrations. They recently took part in their protest to the Scottish Parliament. The campaigners took a petition containing over 800 signatures to Fife Council and spoke of their anger and disappointment. The withdrawal of the bus service started in December, the middle of December. Nobody was really aware that the bus service had stopped. At that time, it was the worst winter we'd ever had. Ice and snow, like four or five feet thick, the roads were terrible. You couldn't walk on the footpaths, you couldn't even get up the road. I stood for 20 minutes at Moody Street before I was told by somebody that there was no buses any longer running from there, that they were completely stopped. A lot of people just couldn't get to the shops, uh, a lot of businesses, they couldn't get people uh, to and from work. Um, everybody I've spoken to have felt the very same, that's why I took up a petition. I thought that I absolutely had to take up a petition and I went to just about every door uh, in the area and everybody signed it. The only person I would say that's listened to us has been uh, the Labour councillors in this area and that was Willie Callaghan and Alec Rowley, no one else. Alec Rowley believes changes in legislation by the Scottish Government should stop bus companies treating pensioners and communities in this way. I certainly have been left feeling very angry the way that Stagecoach, as a bus company, treated pensioners in central Dunfermline was absolutely appalling. Pensioners were going out and queuing for buses and the buses were never coming because Stagecoach had withdrawn the service. Um, Fife Council, as a transport authority, have actually done nothing to stand up for these people, have done nothing to speak out on behalf of those people and have done nothing to put pressure on Stagecoach to bring in a replacement service. For many of these elderly pensioners, you know, the first they knew that their bus service had been removed was when they went to the bus stop and stood there and queued and no bus came. And there's no much point in having a bus pass if you haven't got access to buses and that's what's happened. Um, three months have gone by before any type of replacement service was put in place and to be honest the, the replacement service that's been put in place is simply not good enough. Fife Council have been fairly silent on this issue. You know, their, their, their approach seemed to be that it really was nothing to do with them and there wasn't much they could do about it. They should have spoke out uh, for the people of this area. They should have been telling Stagecoach that this was not acceptable and they should have been trying to get replacement services in place that would have been adequate. None of that has happened and it was very much not us, somebody else's fault. They are the transport authority, they actually need to have some teeth. I would have to say that I was appalled when putting forward a motion in Fife Council to the full council that you had SNP and Liberal councillors laughing and thinking that this was somehow funny um, and making jokes and wisecracks. I was absolutely angry that these councillors could not see how important a local bus service is for pensioners. It's also important for the economy of Dunfermline and we need to look again and Fife Council needs to look again to ensure that people are able to get in and out of Dunfermline and the town centre of Dunfermline uh, to support the local economy but also to support local people. Fife Council have failed on all counts. We took the petition, uh, personally we presented the, uh, the petition to Fife Council in Glenrothes um, at Rothes House I think it was and uh, they, they actually took it and they gave me a receipt for, uh, the, the, you know, for handing it over. I thought it was particularly important that I did that. Um, 
it's something that had to be done. You just can't sit and let things happen. And we still haven't had a letter of support from the council. We're still waiting. I wrote to Brian Souter and I, I copied the letter to his wife, not his wife, his sister, I think mm -hmm. it is, Anne Gog. I did get a letter back and he firmly puts the blame on the present incumbent administration at Glenrothes and that is the SNPs and the Lib Dems. A group of uh, people involved in Buses for People from Dunferm in this area, uh, we actually went to the Scottish Parliament um, over a week ago uh, to listen to the debate which was actually held in the Scottish Parliament about transportation. And it's not just a Dunfermline problem, what I did realise then was that this is actually happening across the board all over Scotland, that transportation is going to be hit very hard and it's hit hard by the Lib Dems and the SNPs because Labour are very much aware of the fact that this needs addressed but they're getting no help at all from these two categories. They just don't want to know, basically. It's something we're told that we more or less have to accept. If we don't accept it, well, tough cheese. The way forward, I believe, is that we need to see some kind of re-regulation of the buses. What Fife clearly shows is that deregulation did not bring about greater competition. It certainly has not brought about improvements in services. You have a monopoly situation in Fife where you have one bus operator that really can hold communities and indeed the council to ransom. We're actually seeing right now in West Fife where the subsidised bus routes, the cost to them, are becoming so expensive that the council is struggling to actually be able to put the money in. So something is seriously wrong and you know public transport is so important. I accept that bus companies will want to make profit but there has to be a balance between making profits and delivering services to local communities and here in Dunfermline and in West Fife, across West Fife and Central Fife indeed, we've seen the bus company put profits before people. It's not acceptable and we need to do something about it.